Oh, good morning everyone. At last the sun is shining here at Mannering Park. And uh, it's interesting. I'll um, probably do something in the newsletter, but I was uh, interested to note what happened this morning when I decided to have breakfast. And it's very interesting because it requires an enormous number of uh, physical things to be done just to achieve a very small thing, such as having your breakfast. And people whinge about having to put in a little extra effort to get the form. So what I'm going to do today, and uh, I've got this here somewhere. There it is. Okay, I'm Gary Robinson for horseracingaustralia.info. You should record that. And by the way, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this simply so that if you wish, you can write this information down, or the main selections anyway. So I don't have a lot of selections today, <coughs> but we have some interesting races at Rambwick. We're expecting the track to be uh, probably good for at worst, with some really good uh, weather today and tomorrow. Possibility of a little bit of a, um, uh, a brief shower on Saturday, but it shouldn't affect the track too much. Currently this morning it was a soft six. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets up to a good four by tomorrow. And um, in any case, uh, it is Ramwick. It is one of the best tracks in Australia and it should be really good. Okay, so in Ramwick race one, um, I actually um, have these two horses as come up of um, part of my special selections. I suggest you back both. Number one, Barber. We've got to give it another chance. Um, I'll save at least on it. Uh, th there's no reason why it shouldn't do something today, so I, I don't know what's wrong with it, but we shall see. And uh, salt hair, well, at $4.40, it's um, another one we should take. So, so hopefully one either one of those will possibly get up. So get you off on a good start at uh, midday tomorrow. Uh, in race two, well, we've got uh, Wolverine on top. At $10 the win, 280 the place. Surely that's an each way selection. Uh, we've rated it a $2.80 chance. So... Um, you know, even if you backed it for a place and got that up, um, that would be an excellent result. So I sh you should have had time to write those down by now, but we'll put it back up at the finishing screen so you can write them down again. Uh, in Randwick race three, 2,600 metres, uh, Torrens ran a good race last start, wasn't beaten far in finishing sixth. And uh, I do believe it'll be a bit of a good chance today, especially on an each way basis, uh, $19.550, our rating $4.20. But as you can see by these, plenty of other chances, okay? In Randwick race five, well, once again here, we've got uh, two runners here at rated $2.50 and $5.20. The next nearest one, $17. So uh, what we're gonna do in this one is uh, tell you that Jack Purton is on Kimberly Secrets, currently at $8, and Running Bear, lovely little white dove, remember, and uh, he's currently at $12. In the sixth at Randwick, uh, this is probably my best special of the day, but the price isn't very good. I've rated it a $3.30 chance, well ahead of any of the other runners. Currently, the best price you can get is around $2.10. But, um, you know, sometimes you've just got to take the price. I found in the past that um, if the price was shorter than my uh, actual rating and it was a favourite and everybody else uh, was on it, then generally it means um, it would be a good chance. Anyway, generally it means it mostly wins. Anyhow, so we come along to race seven. Okay, this is a TJ Smith. It's only worth $3 million, hardly worth going for. However... Uh, when I look at this, I really, really like, I know that these two runners uh, were second and fourth respectively behind in secret, but over the Ramwick 1200, uh, not the not the um, um, straight track down in Melbourne, I expect them to go one better. Lofty Strike, I've got rated $5.30. It's currently 19 the win and $4 the place. And a private eye, I've already backed it at $8, would you believe? But in any case, it's uh, $9 and it's rated as a $7 chance. Obviously a race with a lot of good chances in it. And uh, to some degree, it'll be dictated by um, the pace of the race and the tactics and so on. But Craig knew it. 
is a beauty. Avadol is riding some uh, nice winners at the moment too. And race eight, this is the Doncaster. I'm only backing one horse here today at the moment, and that's going to be Nugget. It's uh, down seven and a half kilos on its last run when it uh, was uh, right in there last start. Um, did ran fifth, had a little bit of um, bad luck in the race, but nevertheless, as I said, we're rated at a six dollar sixty chance, and it's currently paying thirty four dollars to win, nine dollars fifty the place. That is excellent value. So Mr. Brightside, for example, which um, did win in Nuggets race last start, um, it's only down one and a half kilos. So there's a big advantage um, for Nugget when compared to Mr. Brightside. Okay, looking at the last couple of races, which I won't uh, leave up for too long, but um, in Randwick race nine, 2,400 metres, that's the derby. Um, it's a long time since we have a real long shot get up in one of these races, but I suggest that uh, it might happen. We'll be on what uh, the shorter price horse, which is Pericles, a good second last start, and four dollars. And a stroke of luck is seventeen and four forty each way. Major Bill fifty one on a win, eleven dollars a place. Look at this one, Twig Man. Two of its last three starts were wins, one hundred and fifty one for the win and twenty nine for the place. And Virtuous Circle, 34 for the win, 8 for the place. Um, I can think of some interesting um, same race multis in that race, but I'll leave that to you to work out. Notice I'm giving you time to write these down if you want. And don't forget, you can run the video again and you can pause it if you want to write these down. That's why I'm using um, these specifically in this video instead of uh, using the GTX program, which can be a bit hard to read closely in any case you don't get the actual current prices so in the last it's still group three so it's a, a great day of racing we got Avery uh, on top now this is because of a good win at uh, Canberra $61 the win $12 the place current price we're rated at $6 uh, Paracel which is an outstanding win last start rated $10.50 in this race currently $5 Smooth Sailing at 100 to 1. Dashing Legend uh, was very disappointing last start, but uh, should go one better today. Uh, currently at $16. Lady Laguna at $13. Once again, in both these races, you can Dutch bet those. And if any one of those horses were to get up for you, you're going to have a nice win. Okay, just uh, pushing it back so you get a chance to have a look at them. So this is the Doncaster. I'm backing Nugget each way. These other horses are a chance, of course, especially Mr. Brightside. Um, in Randwick Race 7, we've got Lofty Strike and Private A, two brilliant sprinters. Um, in Secret, possibly doesn't meet them as on good terms, and in any case is a three-year-old filly, compared to a three-year-old Colt and a five-year-old Gilding. Uh, Randwick Race 6, Cylinder a Special. Randwick Race 5, a couple of long shots there. Ramwick race three, Torrens, a nice each way chance. Each way on Wolverine in race two. Ramwick race one, Salt Air and Barber. If, um, interestingly enough, they come up as system selections on my program. Um, but interestingly enough, I think this is probably the hardest race to win out of all the selections I've given you, the hardest one to get a result. I do wish you good luck. Thanks very much for racing, for, for watching, and don't forget, uh, www.horseracingaustralia.info and uh, good luck for Saturday. Uh, quite frankly, I think you might need it. But we only need one or two winners at those. If we get one of those long shots, we are going to have a great day.